Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwath, I'll be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And today's lesson is going to be entitled The Holy Spirit teaches okay the holy spirit teaches and this lesson was inspired by the elder apostle gabar i was listening to uh, a lesson yesterday at, at the job i was listening to one of his uh videos um and the video is called um the video is entitled a question is asked about the lord's name and have slash the Holy Spirit teaches discussion. So, you know, um, you can find the Elder's channel um, at Daily Edification 4. Okay? Daily Edification 4. And subscribe and be edified. Okay? So, like I say, this lesson was uh, inspired by the Elder Apostle Gabar. You know, he said, he put it out there in his video, in this particular video here, uh, a question is asked about the Lord's name slash the Holy Spirit teaches discussion. And he, he had put it out there. Uh, I, I, didn't ha I haven't ch got a chance to, to get the minute marker where he said it, but he said, um, you know, brothers do lessons on how, how the Holy Spirit teaches, you know. So um, my, my lesson for today is going to be um, land backing on what the elder had said. You know, if brothers want to go into it, um, you know, make a lesson. So that will be my lesson for today, which this lesson is going to be entitled, The Holy Spirit Teaches. So um, I'm going to start in the in the book of um, Revelation, the 19th chapter, and I'm going to read verse 13. And I'm going to give you the title of our, uh, one of the titles of our Lord, uh, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay? Uh, our, our Savior. One of his titles is um the word of god okay which uh the word of god is uh the, the, that word is from the heavenly father you know our lord uh he tells you all the time how you know the the, his, the words that he's speaking is, is of his father man and he was sent to do the will of his father okay but one of his titles is the word of god let me i'm gonna just start with that revelation chapter 19 and verse 13 it says and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Okay, so one of the titles of our Lord is the Word of God, right? And then for us to repent, we have to be reborn again, okay? Um, with that water, meaning the Word, okay? In ancient times, you know, uh, John the Baptist baptized with water, you know? And he was the forerunner for our Lord, Yahushai. And it says how he's going to baptize with fire and of the, and of the Holy Spirit. You, okay, so um, you have to be reborn again, meaning you got to be literally brainwashed. The scripture says that uh, be, uh, Romans 12 and 2, be not conformed to this word, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The Lord said, except you be born again, okay, meaning to, to learn over again new, anew through the Spirit. Okay, you're going to be taught by the Spirit. You see, you need teachers, you need to be taught, but the Lord has to sup with you. And how the Lord is going to sup with you? He's going to sup with you through the Spirit, okay? All right, so let's get our next scripture. Our next scripture is going to go, we're going to be, we're going to stay in the book of Revelation, and we're going to go to Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20. And it says, Behold, this is red letter, this is our Lord, Yahweh it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, and open the door okay how are you going to hear the, the voice of the lord through the spirit you see it says behold so the spirit teaches 
Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. You see? So there, there it is, man. How the Lord is going to sup with you? It's going to be by way of the Spirit, man. So the Spirit teaches you, man. You see? Now let's stay in the New Testament and let's go to the book of uh, Matthew. Okay, we're going to get Matthew, the, uh, Matthew the 18th chapter, and we're going to jump in here at verse 20. It says, For where two or three, so this is another example of how our Lord sups with you. Remember what his title is. One of his titles is uh, uh, the Word of God. The Word is from the Most High. Okay? It says, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, okay, there I am in the midst of them. So you see where two or three, two or more is gathered in the, in the Lord's name. Okay, the Lord, the Lord is in the midst. How he's in the midst? Through the Spirit. Okay, through the Spirit. Right? We got, we got scriptures on how the scripture tell you that uh, not to meditate uh, in the time of persecution. Okay, if that's your lot, you know, in the time of persecution, the Lord say to, to not meditate on what you would say. Roughly paraphrasing it. Not meditate on what you would say because it would be given to you within that same hour. How is it going to be given to you to, within that same hour? Through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit teaches, man. You see? Let's get, let's get a, another scripture we could go to real quick. Let's get a couple out of the book of St. John. This is St. John. It's one of my favorite scriptures right here. St. John, the sixth chapter and the 63rd verse. It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth. When you go into this word quickeneth, it means to make alive. You see, the spirit teaches you, man. It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. You see, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You see? So through the spirit, man, okay, it's through the spirit that you're, that, that you're uh, uh, made alive, man, that you're quickened. You see? You're taught through the Spirit, man. You know? Um, the next one we're going to get, let's get, uh, we're going to stay in the book of St. John, and we're going to go to the 14th chapter, right? We're going to get this account real quick. Uh, and the Lord, uh, this is Red Letters, our Lord, Yahushai. Okay, speaking about the Holy Spirit, it says, These things I have spoken unto you, being yet present with you. Okay, it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he, uh, he shall teach you all things. You see, the, the, the Holy Spirit teaches. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Okay, so there you go. I mean, straight to the point. You know, um, it's, it, it, the Holy Spirit teaches, man. I'm going to get two more passages, okay? I'm going to stay in the book of uh, St. John here, and I'm going to go to the third chapter, and I'm going to get the account with um, Nicodemus when he came to our Lord, right? We're going to go through that real quick, and then we're going to get another, another passage, and then I'm going to close it out. So this is St. John, the third chapter. I start at verse 1. It says, There was a man of the Pharisee, of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, the same came to Yahushai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Yahushai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. Right. You literally got to be brainwashed, man. Okay. Uh, it says, verse 4, Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? So Nicodemus didn't understand. See, he was in he was in he was in the spirit wasn't dealing with him on that level. Okay? But it says, Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Yahweh answered and said, answered, Salakia. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, okay, meaning, meaning the, 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 the words, man, the words of the Lord, okay, the scriptures, 
okay, and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. See, that spirit got to be pre that got to be present. So you can't just think you could just pick up the the, the, the Bible and just read it like uh, uh, as a novel. You got you you're gonna need teachers to teach you. You need to be taught, and the, the spirit, the Lord, got to be supping with you through the spirit. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. We read it, Revelation three and twenty. Okay, see, it says. Uh, St. John chapter 3 and verse 5 And Yahweh shall answer Verily, verily I say unto thee Except a man be born of water And of the spirit He cannot enter into the kingdom of the most high You see So the, the spirit got to teach you man Alright And it says um, Verse uh, 6 It says um, That which is born of the flesh Is flesh And that which is born of the spirit Is spirit Okay It's a difference it says, marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listed, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whether it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. You see? So the Lord, the Lord sups with you uh, 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 through the Spirit, man. You see? Now we're going to get one more account. We're going to close it out. We're going to go to the book of 1 Corinthians. Let's go back to the New Testament. Let's go to the book of um, 1 Corinthians. You know, uh, the Spirit got to be dealing with you for you to get that understanding. 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, and we're going to jump in here at verse, uh, verse 10. It says, it says, but the Most High revealed them, but re the Most High had revealed them unto us by His Spirit. You see, this is how, this is how you get it, man. Get that teaching, because the Holy Spirit teaches us man that's how the lord substitutes you through the holy spirit it says but the most i have revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searcheth all things yea the deep things of the most high for what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of a man of man which is in him even so the things of the most high knoweth no man but the spirit of god now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the most high, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the most high. So you, you know this through the spirit, right? It says, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth. You see, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit teaches man, teaches us, okay? Um, it says, comparing spiritual things with spiritual it says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So if the Lord not supping with you through the spirit, man, you ain't going to get this. You see? So accept the Lord, uh, uh, accept the Most High give you uh, to his son and he raised you up according to the book of uh, St. John, the sixth chapter, the 44th verse. You know? And that's going to be by, by, way, by way of the spirit, man. It says, but he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. For who had known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of a Mashiach. And that happens through the Lord supping with you through the Holy Spirit, man. So with that, I'm going to end it there. This, is, this, is a, this, has, been, this has been, Salakir, okay, the Holy Spirit teaches. Lord willing, you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.